How's it going? All right, I suppose. If you don't mind singers who can't sing and actors who can't act. Bring in the Kraken. Isn't it release the Kraken? It's release. <laughs> release the Kraken. <laughs> it's time for Idology, the weekly internet show that discusses the best and worst of the previous week in American Idol. We've got season six superstar Melinda Doolittle in the house with us again today. Thanks, Melinda, for being here. Thanks for having me. So, Melinda, we've survived week two of season 11 auditions. San Diego, Aspen, and Texas were all a little bit forgettable, and I think we're kind of desperately waiting for that Paris Bennett moment. Aspen, you know, maybe it was a high altitude, but I really thought they might have actually been high when they did that episode. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna survive! Waiter, uh, will you serve the nuts? I mean, will you serve the guests the nuts? By the end of it, I was like, why is the only thing I can remember bull testicles. They're bull testes, actually. No. You took the words right out of my mouth, and this is probably the first and last time in my life that someone has taken the words bull testicles out of my mouth. <laughs> and then with a side order of turkey testicles. Turkey's a One thing that I'm noticing after two weeks of auditions, I feel like Jennifer Lopez is kind of getting a redemption edit. She's sort of coming across as the voice of reason. Are you guys crazy? No, 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 I didn't get it. Not too mean, but critical when she needs to be. There was something in your voice uh -huh. that, that really I couldn't connect with. I have a similar relationship to J.Lo as an idol judge as I do to her as an actress. And I think that was the correct use of air quotes. The great Michael Jackson. I've seen a lot of her movies in the theater. I saw Enough. I saw The Cell. I saw Monster-in-Law. I also saw Out of Sight, which I thought she deserved an Oscar nomination for. So once in a while, she'll throw you a bone. I feel like a beagle, and she's like the mean kid in the neighborhood who generally comes at you with a stick and beats you with it, but once in a while, we'll throw it for you. I think that you used the correct word when you said edit. They do a lot of editing on that show, you know? They're, that's a long day. And so the edit that we've seen of her has been great. However, just like last season, when we get to the live shows, like two weeks in, I was like, Ah, oh, love me some J-Lo. <laughs> and then the third week happened and I was like, wah, wah. I'm remembering that optimism from season 10 too. And then there was that week where she cut off a lock of Haley Reinhardt's hair and threw it into the cauldron <laughs> and the, the fire burst out. And she was like, ah. <laughs> And she did it all by using the term baby. Hi, baby. I can't listen to Lady Gaga's version. I can't either. If it comes up on my iPod, I go directly to the Haley version. I have to do it. So many During that segment where we saw J.Lo getting vetoed by Steven and Randy, the third girl in that montage, Cheyenne James, she sang a pink song. We only got a tiny snippet of her singing, but I thought, right. oh my God, I want to hear more. The little snippet that they played of her, I kind of heard her almost kind of losing a little bit of control vocally. Tell me why does this hurt make a fool of me? I don't know if maybe it went completely awry after that section, but I would think that they would show us that. At the end of the J.Lo segment, I think this is something we can all agree on. Linda Williams did not deserve a ticket to Hollywood. I'm not certain of this, but I believe she was singing Alicia Keys' Fallen. They kind of <laughs> needed like a CSI team to come in and sort of dust for fingerprints, maybe take a swab from Alicia Keys' cheek and make sure that there was a DNA matchup because there was nothing left but like some bone fragments and a blood splatter. <laughs> This way. I had a hard time with her and I had a really hard time with Steven Tyler telling her it was okay to pee on herself. <laughs> Still not okay with that. <laughs> I'm about to pee myself. Go right you ahead. Guys. He did say it with like almost a glint in his eye that not only was he giving her permission to, but he might have been encouraging it because he might have found that enjoyable. Go right you ahead. No. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Let's, let's move right along. We've got to talk about the return of 21-year-old nanny, Bailey Brown. I thought, after she auditioned in season six, your season of Idol, I thought this was a legit front runner. I thought she would just sail through Hollywood week and she crashed and burned spectacularly. Did you spend any time with her or were you too busy partying with the Jersey girls? I didn't actually spend any time with the, any of that group um, mm -hmm. during Hollywood week, but I knew who Bailey Brown was. Everyone that season knew who Bailey Brown was because girl could sing. And I just remember being so upset when she didn't get through group round because even forgetting the words, I thought she was the better part of that group. And then of course I forgot the words. To this day, I'm kind of like, what does it matter if you forget the words? I mean, come on, nuts of wonder. Really, <laughs> right. really. If it's soon, soon, soon. 
Had she come back and auditioned for season seven as a 17 year old, I don't think I would have been nearly as excited as I was by the fact that she waited five years. Wow. It's been a long, long, long time. She just carried herself with a certain something and I thought her version of Bon Jovi's Bed of Roses was really sublime. So lay you down on a bed of roses. She didn't just like do every run and do, you know, I'm going to sing as loud as I possibly can. She actually finessed the song. From what I hear, she's been in the Nashville area writing. I heard that she's had a publishing deal. So I think that she's been kind of honing her skills as the foundation of an artist, you know, learning how to write, learning how to get in there from kind of the ground up. And so I'm really excited to see what she's going to do. I bet you she's really excited to see what happens next with Jersey Girl on a Toilet. We've got to remember from season six, when Antonella Barba's toilet pictures leaked. That was a teaching moment for all of us. For the number of times that you're going to the bathroom and someone asks to take your picture and you- Seriously. You, you think about it, you think about saying yes, but then you think to Antonella Barba and you think, I'm not gonna go there. I remember being backstage with her and some of those pictures coming out and thinking, but wait, why is there that picture in the first place? Like, it's not that, oh my gosh, it came out. It's, oh my gosh, you took that? Do you think Randy remembered her? I think that he remembered that she was on his sheet of paper in front of him at the moment. <laughs> it's been five years. It's been, oh, has okay. it been that long? If you had to name a second golden ticket recipient from week two that you really liked, who would it be? I'm gonna have to give that to Ashley, the single mom that was in San Diego. I was sort of worried about her only because she's saying, I will always love you. And I'm kind of like, mm. Mm -hmm. Don't sing that song. But she sang the living daylights out of it, and then I couldn't even really be mad at her. I wish you love. Oh, yeah. I think the other person I'm excited to hear is Cortez Shaw. Yeah. I love that he took Adele's Someone Like You and kind of gave it the dance remix treatment that Melanie Amaro never quite did on The X Factor. I hate to turn up out of the blue one invited, but I couldn't stay away, I couldn't fight it. He had kind of lost me until he got to the end, slowed it down just a little bit, and put a little of that tone on the end of it, and then I was like, Okay, I'm sold. Sometimes it hurts instead. Aren't you happy that JLo swatted down Randy's hand? Randy wasn't gonna let him get to the chorus. Randy should only put one hand up if he's singing 702's Where My Girl's At or listening to 702's Where My Girl's At in the car. Otherwise, <laughs> hands in your lap, folded. Don't speak. Let's talk about people we didn't like from week two of the auditions or whose golden tickets we might revoke if we had the opportunity. Mine is a little bit weird because I didn't like her and I loved her all at the same time. Then you got it, share it. And I'm all about Broadway, so I love that. But I didn't think she did that good of a job on the song. Show the boys your birthday suit. She sang again and completely changed everybody's minds in the room. The silver moon and the evening tide. She gets my would have revoked your golden ticket, but really glad you got it now vote. I don't know that she is the type of person who seriously feels the music. For uh. her, she's a musical theater person. She's not a musical artist. And I think you can be both, but I think in her case, she's only one and not the other. If I could take one golden ticket away, it would oddly not be Jim Carrey's daughter. There was a lot of furor on the internet, like she's getting an unfair shot. That doesn't seem fair. It's like, you should be able no. to make your own way in the world, independent of who your parents are. And she can sing. You won't believe it. If I could take away someone's golden ticket, it would probably be Allie Shields, the girl who was the correspondent for the Ellen Show for an episode. She kissed Usher. She was more put through for spectacle than for actual talent. I get what you get in 10 years, in two days. Is that the same girl that Randy asked to do the ghetto dance? It is, it is. Nice okay, use of the yeah. word ghetto, Randy. You do a little ghetto dancing? Stay like Compton, huh? You idiot. I was... So not okay with that. So I, I will revoke her ticket right along with you. Ghetto dance is right up there with the gong sound they used for the Asian guy who went through the wrong door. Randy, of all people, ghetto dance? I really, I, I, I couldn't even, okay, I need to let it go. Even if you loved her voice, <laughs> just give her the hook. Like at that point when she bent and started to drop it low, the hook should have just come out <laughs> from side stage and just quicken her up. <laughs> Da -da 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 -da. 